Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is Gulam Muhyiddin on behalf of Alfred Intellectual High School and College. Dear students, as you know that uh, we are passing very bad time nowadays uh, and hopefully benevolent Allah give us, save us from that cut. Today I am going to discuss on chemistry and my topic so, uh, will be state of matters. As my concern, the state of matters is very important because you know, before you study with chemistry like uh, uh, measurement or uh, uh, related uh, equation, you need to have very good idea on the state of matters. Because the structure and their characteristics depend how the result would come. Alright, first of all, we need to know what is the state of matters. The whole universe is made by particles, you know, even our body, even the big buildings. For example, I always like to give you an example because, you know, for my concern, example is much more better than the explanation. Okay. For example, if you think about a big building, you need some sort of brick, which is very, uh, very solid. You need liquid to mix uh, the solution or cement, and sometimes you need some uh, safety measurement, you need some gas for safety, for example, ox uh, adequate oxygen or some other things. Let's talk briefly about the matters. First of all, in your book, it mentioned that there is three state of matters, which is solid, liquid and gases. But my dear students, you know there is another one, which is plasma. And obviously you have, a, I, I know you, are, uh, you, you have some question, uh, what does plasma look like? You know the sun is made by plasma. But at the stage of education, you don't need to bother about the plasma state. Uh, in the further education, you will learn it, definitely. Alright, my dear students. First of all, we discuss about the solid. Solid is the first state of matters. The, uh, one kind of state of matters is solid. You see the bubbles here. Let's consider this one as atoms. As you see, the molecule, uh, the gap between two atoms is very minimum. So you can observe that it's, uh, it's uh, very minimum. That's why what happened. The structure is very hard. They stay together very close. And that's why the affection between two atoms very strong. As a result, what happened? They hold it strongly and it occupy place and it a definite size. As an example, you can, uh, if you think uh, it's a solid example, you can uh, consider it as a brick. And there is a lot of other examples as solid. Now, the second one is a liquid. As you see, the liquid you can identify easily that the, uh, that the gap between two atoms is the maximum than the solid. I think it's more than the solid anyway. What happened? As because they stay far, their uh, affection between two atoms is less. As a result, they cannot hold together closely. So, what happened in that case, in that sense, it is, uh, it is clear to say, it is easy to say that as because their affection is less, that's why they don't have definite size, but they have definite shape. For example, sir, if you think about a glass of water, if you put the water in the glass, it takes the shape on, about the, on the glass. The same water, if you put on, on a uh, different pot, it gets different size. Okay, so in, uh, in a conclusion between these two, solid and liquid, the major concern the gap between two atoms is uh, higher than the solid, as, as a result, their affection is less, so they, they have size, but not definite size, like solid. Now, come to the point, gases. Dear students, and you know, the final one is gas. Definitely, if you uh, have a uh, close eye on the gas, you can find it out that the distance between two atoms are larger than the solid and liquid. This means that the affection between two atoms is very minimum considered about solid and liquid. So as a result, what happened? Uh, the affection between two atoms are minimum, so they don't have definite size and shape, but normally it takes the whole place, uh, it can occupy, it has the ability to occupy all the place. For example, if you put one cubic meter of ammonia gas in a room, it can take uh, the place uh, all over the room. 
either if you put that same quantity of uh, ammonia gas in a balloon, it can take position in the balloon. So obviously you can understand, you know, maybe you can understand that uh, what is the basic difference between these three. And the characteristics is very important because you know when the chemical equipment react with each other, their pattern is depends on their structure. So state of matter to have very good idea on state of matters is mandatory. If you have any question regarding to my class, please contact me by the given number or you can directly con con uh, contact with me uh, using Alfred website. So far, that much. Wish you guys are safe and uh, be happy at home. Stay home, it's safe. Assalamu alaikum. See you on the next episode.